Welcome back. I'm here with our La Liga correspondent, Matt Law, to preview Ibar versus Atletico Madrid on Saturday evening. Matt, we'll start with Atletico. They could be seven points behind Real come kickoff. Yeah, I think they will be as well. Look, Real Madrid played Sociedad in the earlier game, and with all respect, you'd expect Real Madrid to win that game. Seven points. A lot of this stage of the season, they would have played the same number of games because Real Madrid do still have a game in hand. So, Atletico welcome Real Madrid to the Calderon next week, next Saturday, which would be an amazing game. And Atletico really need to win this game because obviously they won last time out 3 1 against Real Vallecano. It was Anton Griezmann again, scored a, scored a brace. He's got 10 in the league now this season. He's been really good the last few months. Took a little bit of time to sort of settle in. Mandzukic is obviously Torres is coming. We know all about that. And it's so important, Atletico, for them to retain the title is, is unlikely, you know, personally, but it's, it's obviously still a goal of theirs. Obviously, they're still in. Champions League as well, they'll be hoping to make another final. I mean, last season, their, their achievements are sort of overlooked in some, but for them to win the league against Barcelona and Real Madrid, who spent all that money, reached the Champions League final, was incredible. And their four points off around you, like I say, could be seven. Lost three away games this season, Atletico. I think that's been the problem, being so strong at home, but they have lost three times on the road. Also defensively, I think they've only got the fourth or fifth best defensive record. I mean, last season overall, they had the best by some distance, but not been the case this season. They have conceded a few goals. Miranda's been injured, Jimenez has come in, he's been brilliant, but... For this particular game, it's so important they get wins and they haven't been too good on the road in terms of the performances. So. As for Ibar, they lost last time out, but on the whole, it's been a fantastic first season back in La Liga. Yeah, it's been incredible. I think when they come up from the Segunda, everyone expected them to struggle. They were supposed to be the team, bottom of the table, you know, go there and pick up easy points, but it's not been the case. Sitting in eighth, obviously, they lost last time out against Sociedad, but we've got some important games coming up as well. They played Deportivo and Elche. Elche are really struggling, so are Deportivo. They're going to be the games where they're determined, but to sit in eighth at this stage of the season is, I mean, they had a good start and people were thinking, is it going to end? You know, they've picked up some good results, but they've They've just been so strong. They play expansive football. They play a similar style to Ray Vallecano, which I had to go play last week. And when the teams go to Abar, they know all about it. The ground's nice and small. It's a close community. So it will be a very tough game for Atletico. But Abar, they'll be keen to bounce back as well. Certainly. So it's not the easiest game for Atletico. What's your score prediction? I think Atletico will win. I think they'll keep a clean sheet as well. Obviously, Miranda will be back, partnering with Godin at the back. So that's, that's a very strong two. You know, they're, they're sensational together, I think. I think they will score. I think they'll be tight for very long spells. I think Atletico will score in the second half, and I think they'll maybe nick one late on the counter. So I'm back in 2 0 Atletico. Sportsman going for a 2 0 Atletico win then. 